The Europa Boulevard certainly deserves the accolade Boulevard. The imposing rows of trees lining the boulevard add to its allure. The reason for replacing the road drainage system was the poor drainage of rainwater. This caused large puddles on the carriageway and in the large parking spaces. A robot camera inspection of the sewer system revealed the drainage capacity was severely impaired by roots that had grown into the discharge points and joints, which meant that water could not run off quickly enough. The sewers are located in the green space between the carriageway and the parking spaces, where they run underneath trees. The manholes in this sewer serve as the inlet for rainwater that flows off from the parking area. The gully holes on the other side ensure that water runs off the carriageway. The existing drainage system has a diameter of 250 millimeters and consists of concrete pipes with brick manholes placed at 25 meter intervals. The suggestion was to replace the existing drainage pipes by applying pipe cracking, a technique also known as pipe bursting. With this technique, gas, water and drainage pipes can be renewed without having to dig a trench while maintaining the same diameter. This is a quick way of replacing both pressure and gravity pipes with plastic pipes. Bam Nelis de Rauter drew up a project proposal and a budget. First, the polyethylene pipes are welded together to create the desired length. It was decided to use the special Waven TS pipe, a core pipe made of standard PE100 with a special PE coating on the inside and outside to prevent damage through scratching and point loads. A conical pull head is welded to the combined sewer strand. The pipe crack machine is erected in the starting pit and fixed in place. From the starting pit, the steel quick lock rods are combined into a strand, one by one. The machine feeds the linked rods through the drainage pipe until they emerge in the target pit. A guiding head at the front easily locates the destination. In the target pit, the guiding head is replaced by a roller blade with an expanding head and the new PE pipe attached. A special cutting knife or crusher is inserted between the starting shaft and the pull head. Now it's all pulled back to the starting pit, rod by rod. The breaker is doing its job here, smashing the concrete pipes. The retracting motion of the steel links is remotely operated by means of a joystick. The required tensile force is observable and limited. You can see on the hoeveelheid druk that he opbouwt, with what kracht he gaat doen. The number of retracted rods determines the position of the head in the existing drainage system. As a new inspection pit will be constructed, the string must have sufficient overlap so it can be connected to this new pit. This traditionally constructed brick pit is still a fine example of craftsmanship. A special snap inlet is fitted to the PE pipe, to which the existing and new gully holes are connected. In a suitable part of the route, the length of the string has been increased to approximately 140 meters. Pulling the bursting head and expanding head through the pits did not present any problems. Time can be saved on this type of work, which makes the adopted solution cost effective. In a few short segments, the original diameter of 250 millimeters was widened to 300 millimeters. For very short segments where cracking would have been less cost effective, Ban Nelisterauta opted for another no-dig technique, the CIPP method. Here, polyester resin is impregnated into a sleeve, which is blown into the drain and hardened through steam. In this way, almost no trenches had to be dug to carry out the project, 
so trees could be preserved, drains replaced, and any future root growth into the drains prevented. Asphalt and road reconstruction costs were also minimized. So this is not only a cost-effective, but also a sustainable solution, thanks to the short time required for preparations and execution, minimal use of public space, minimal nuisance to the public, minimal noise and dust, less equipment is needed, and fewer transport movements. All this results in a lower energy balance, coupled to a major decrease in CO2 emissions. The project was a success for both our client Vatternet and BAM Nelis de Raute. After it has been reviewed, it will certainly be considered as an option for similar projects in the Amsterdam area. Now all the work has been completed above and below ground, the Europa Boulevard has been restored to what it has always been. A busy road, fortunately still lined with many trees, thanks to the use of no-dig techniques. No-dig techniques. Certainly, the future.